Hey, what's up everyone? It's Frankie with Makespace.com. Today we're going to talk about method two for Apple devices. Um, this method is going to show you how to use the application iSilo to actually download the files from Box.net directly. Now this method uh, sometimes works for people very good and sometimes it doesn't. So it's not our favorite method, but it's certainly the most convenient method and convenient way of putting files on your uh, Apple device into your iSilo program um, if it works for you. So we're going to go ahead and show that to you. So basically you just need to take your Apple device and need to make sure that you have iSilo installed on it. So here we're using just an iPhone 3G and um, <clears throat> we've got iSilo installed. So we're going to open up iSilo and you'll notice uh, in iSilo, uh, you know, we have our folders and things. If you click on device, you know, it'll give you a folder structure. But what we're interested in doing is downloading some files from box.net. So we'll click on the dot, dot, dot in the top right corner. And then you'll notice uh, the top choice there under file is download. So if you click on download, um, it's, it's going to bring up uh, iSilo's built-in browser which is designed to allow you to browse to files or links and download them right into iSilo's app and so what we've done ahead of time is we've now what you can do is click in the address bar and just go to uh, what we'll do is we'll just do it that way I was gonna click on our, our link that we add here but um, but we'll go ahead and I keep hitting the uh, done button up at the top there is why it keeps going back but got to get it right inside this field so we'll clear this out we're going to go to m.box.net see that's why I hate doing it because it throws the line you have to do it a million times m.box.net and then just hit done Make sure you hit done at the bottom right corner, not done at the top, because that'll just take you out of the process. So just make sure you use the bottom done when you're doing these things. So basically this is the browser that's inside of iSilo, so you just want to go to uh, you know, m.box.net. So it'll take you to the home page so you can log in. So you'll choose log in. Now if it doesn't take you to that log in screen, it might take you to a, a link that says you know go to the app or go to the mobile site you'll want to click on go to the mobile site but in this case it took us right to the login screen so now you're gonna put in your username and your password for your box.net account and uh, you'll choose put a check mark under keep me logged in and then you'll hit log in I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera right now so I'm just under email address I'm just putting my box.net account information And then we'll go ahead and put our password in. And I'm putting a check mark under the uh, button there. And then you'll want to, if I can get back on screen here, you'll want to click when you put the information in and put a check in the box, you want to hit the go button in the bottom right corner. And then uh, it should automatically do the login process for you and uh, most of the time it saves your login information so you know you don't have to do this uh, every time it's a little bit easier each time you do it and what I've done is after you actually get it to pull up the site um, what you might want to do is click on the little book on the bottom right and save it well actually not the book but you'll click on the plus sign and you'll save, put a name, and then hit done in the bottom right corner, not in the top. Uh, actually, I think you hit save, and then uh, that'll take you back to your back screen. So you want to save it as a bookmark. That way, when you first come here, you can just go to your bookmarks. You can hit box.net, and it'll take you right there without typing it. So uh, here you can see our box.net. You'll go into your theocratic folder. And um, since this part is all wirelessly uh, communicating 
Um, what you might want to do is make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can use your 3G connection or your 4G connection, but a lot of times it's slow and some of these files are large, so you want to probably use your Wi-Fi when you're using this method. Um, I'm going to download a file from iSilo, so I'll go into the iSilo folder. Remember, we're doing this from within iSilo, so the only files you want to download using this method are actual iSilo files, because the others don't work in iSilo. So we'll just go into the Kingdom Ministry. And I'm just going to do the uh, this uh, bottom the 2011 uh, Kingdom Ministry. And then I'll just hit the download button. And this method, since it's, you know, directly from the internet to the device, um, you know, sometimes each one of these screens takes a little longer to respond. Um, and you just kind of have to wait it out, wait it out until you get your messages that pop up. But so far, the, the method does work okay. Some people have a lot better success with it than others. I, in the past, have not, it hasn't worked so well, but it seems to be working good now. So once you hit the download, you'll get a list of folders in your iSilo where you want to put them at. And so I just choose the one I want it to go right into, which is my Theocratic and then you'll hit save. You'll notice a little box pops up and it's going to give you details of what's happening. So it's showing what file is being downloaded and then it's showing the file downloading. Then it's going to come up and ask you, you've downloaded this successfully, would you like to open it? If you have more than one file that you're downloading, go ahead and say no. But if you're only downloading the one file, you can say yes and it'll open it up. I'm going to go ahead and say no and I'm going to go uh, back to the Kingdom Ministry, um, and I'm going to download a second file just to show you uh, that it does work fairly consistently. So we did the 2011, so I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, the 2010. Then it just kind of gives you again a, an overview of the file and you know the size and who up uploaded it and that kind of thing. You just again click the download. I haven't really tested this using just 3G or 4G, you know, the cellular service. I've always used Wi Fi, so I do recommend making sure you're connected with Wi-Fi when you're using this method. As you can see, I have a really fast Wi-Fi connection, but it's still fairly slow um, connecting. So again, it's wanting to know where you want to save the, far, the target file at, and we're going to put it in our Theocratic, and we're going to save it. And again, it shows us the name of the file, the status of the download, and uh, the size that's been downloaded and basically that's it. Now this is the end of, this is all I'm going to download so this time I'm going to say go ahead and open it. So it should take us in and open us, open up the the Kingdom Ministry 2010 iSilo file. So that's what the file looks like. You could go into e any month that you want and then you've got all of the articles that were in, was in that Kingdom Ministry. You can go back to your doc list. You can see that it put it in the theocratic folder with all of our other files so it worked properly. So really that is the easiest way to get files uh, downloaded to your Apple device is just using iSilo to do it. So again you'll go into iSilo, you go to dot dot dot, you'll go to download, you'll type in m.box.net, you'll log in and then you'll go to the file that you uh, uh, want to download, choose it, hit download. It'll ask you what folder you want to put it in and you choose the folder. So that's it. That's the end of uh, method two, uh, downloading files from box.net 
to your Apple device using the iSilo program. Thanks for watching the tutorial.